right, folks, we done back down. It finally made time to get back down here, what I'm trying to say, to the wood yard. Tell them how busy we've been, baby. Uh, not enough minutes, hours, days, weeks in our day. <laughs> but we down here, I did get a chance the other day to uh, slice up one of them. If you've been watching for a couple months now, there's some big pecan logs down there. So we down here this morning when it's midday. We're going to split this little bit of pecan up, try to get a toad out of it. We're waiting on some uh, boats. Supposed to be coming to get some pine straw, so we're trying to split a little bit, waiting on them. So, hope you enjoy this little bit of splitting this pecan. I love to burn pecan in my buck stove because I like to go outside in it. I love the way pecan smells when it's burning. But it's it's not something you want to put in an open fire because it spits. And if you got carpet, you can't catch a house on fire. But a buck stove, you can shut it down and you don't have no problem. So this is gonna be for hours or, or a campfire wood, whichever. So, you got anything you wanna say? Yes, our pollen here is horrible. You'll see yellow dust flying off of us probably. We so. doing lawn care now? Everything we got is yellow. The sinuses is bad. Our throat scratchy. My wife's irritated. <laughs> Rosie don't like getting the paws yellow, but we're going to get into this video right quick. Try to get it done before these customers show up. Hope you're having a great day.
just like that. These four big rounds, it's done. I got a complete full toad here. Uh, this Wolverine six way wedge. Now, for the ones of you who never split Pekin before, it's very stringy. And when it gets dry, it's even tougher to split. I thought about putting the full way on here, but I said, no, nah, let's just see what it's gonna do. Uh, we didn't have a hiccup. It cut it like hot butter. And I say it time after time. This Wolverine's make splitting wood fun. I don't consider it work. You consider it work? It's fun, ain't it? It's Tell fun. It's it fun. fun. Just amazed when you see the six way go through something that you don't think it and it just splits it perfectly. You can't go wrong with a Wolf Ridge. But what time is it? 117. 117. We're supposed to have some people showing up soon to get some pine straw. For the ones of you that watched the pine straw videos, I know we don't get much traffic on those. Something up north, and y'all don't know nothing about pine straw, but if you watch it, we'll appreciate it. It's a southern thing. It is a southern <laughs> thing. But we appreciate y'all watching. We have to do it as part of our little business we have. It's like cutting a couple yards. We, uh, we're basically cutting yards for blessings now because we have elderly people that we're doing yards for and they don't have, they're living on social security. So we're gonna take care of them. We don't hardly, we just get cost if you won't really know the truth about it. And we got a friend that you, uh, a couple months ago we took firewood to, he's still taking chemo treatments. And I got to thinking about it the other day, we come up by his house and the grass ain't been cut since last year. And I'm thinking, man, I don't understand why somebody don't cut his grass. And then something told me, you got two lawnmowers on the back of your trailer. Why ain't you cutting it? So I had my wife message his wife and told her to call me. And, uh, so it's going to happen. It's going to happen. We're going to take care of him. So the point of this is, folks, if you can be a blessing to somebody, the Bible says you're going to get it back three folds. And I believe that as far as your health, your family, uh, good blessings, you get it back. So if you can be a blessing to somebody, be a blessing. And if you see a video in the near future of us cutting grass and it's got blessing on it, watch it. It's going to be his yard. We're not doing it for YouTube. I can just get that out. I'm not doing it for YouTube. And I started to not even mention it. But today in the world we live in, if you can be a blessing to somebody, do it. Do it. So we're going to leave you with that thought. It's a beautiful day here in South Carolina. It finally got up to in the 70s. It ain't 70s. 66. Damn, we're going to die when it gets to 80s. <laughs> You're right. We uh, But the winds in the afternoon has been terrible. They've been like 25 and gusting higher. And they calling for that the rest of, <coughs> and the rest of the week. And I just got a mouth full of pollen. I think you gave it to me too. Uh. If y'all don't have pine, pine trees down here so bad, you, you can wash your car in 10 seconds, go back out there, and, and you can have a different color car. You, you have <laughs> yellow, a yellow car. Yellow or green. <laughs> but, I know this is running long, but be a blessing. Take care of your family, your friends, because you're not promised tomorrow. Amen. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Appreciate you putting up with our foolishness and y'all watching and watching our little simple videos. We really appreciate it. Y'all take care of one another. This is Wreck Outdoors. Rose, you loving that sun, ain't you? I don't know what we're going to do when it gets 90 degrees, though. <laughs>